What is the answer? I would say massive bloodshed. I really would. I don't advocate it, but I see that it's really the only answer. There's a revolution going on. Brothers are getting it together, and if you ain't part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I want you to stop spreading corporate control disinformation around the globe. Start covering the real issues like why this fucking world is being raped by guys that make 500 million a year. They're doing their part. Are you? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong. Yeah, you're right. We prefer another concept. That's a bond. It's family that binds us, it protects us. It unites us. Yeah. Our country has been illegitimately hijacked. It's bigger than the political parties. It's a financial dictatorship. And the government is a crooked, corrupt fraud. Period. Now, the American people don't want physical war with the criminal system, but it's going to want physical war. Gentlemen. Thank you for coming. The idea is to join forces and stop them from doing this. So who's in? Good. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight to free the world. First, we evacuate anyone still in the district. We have five hours left. Then I need 30 of your guys. The best fighters, but no guns, all right? This is not a hunt. We go in silent, neutralize, and then take the operations room. Questions? So where's the party? Position. This country can become involved in a revolution that won't take bloodshed. She's the only country in history in a position actually to become involved in a bloodless revolution. Would you like to know more? They're wrong when they say that if you really love enough, then you'll never fight back. They're wrong when they say that, but they're right when they, when they say that what we need is more love. And we do. We need to love ourselves. We need to love ourselves enough that we don't put up with this shit. We need to love ourselves enough that we say no more. We need to love ourselves enough to say, you are not going to do this to me or to those I love. Violence is not some spiritual abstract question to be puzzled through. It's simply a part of life and you deal with it. And that doesn't mean you participate and it doesn't mean you don't participate. It means that it's not capital V violence. It's not reified into this, this big thing. It's part of life. And by the way, yes, I want to win. We are going to win. And what winning means to me is living on a livable planet. Those in power are trying to tell us they own the land. They're trying to tell us they own the water. They're trying to tell us they own genetic materials. They're trying to tell us they own the air. I'll be goddamned if I give them violence too. You know, they don't own it. Don't tell me that violence doesn't accomplish anything. Violence is dreadfully effective. That's why they use it. Historically, revolutions are bloody. Oh, yes, they are. They have never had a bloodless revolution or a nonviolent revolution. That don't happen even in Hollywood. Chinese revolution was bloody. The Russian revolution was bloody. Revolutions overturn systems. Revolutions destroy systems. French Revolution was bloody, Cuban Revolution was bloody, and there was nothing more bloody than the American Revolution. What do you think you're
guy. You've lost your way, brother. <laughs> 